Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now for August 21st through the 27th. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. I'm trying to make these as quick as possible. I wasn't going to do the weekly readings, but the demand has been high, so I have decided to. We'll see how quickly I can get this done while still giving you the message. Okay, Scorpio. 21st through the 27th of August love reading what do you have for Scorpio I shuffled before I hit record as well Well, you might be feeling a little insecure at this time during this week. It looks like you might be feeling insecure. You might feel like um, there's some conflicts in your life. Uh, things look like there's something is moving, okay? There's movement in your life, and it's after a period of contemplation. So perhaps you've taken some time to think about a situation, and now there's movement happening, um, but you're still insecure about it. Perhaps you still feel like a victim of some sort, um, and there's, there's still some... Uh, tension in in the situation there's still some tension maybe there's some power struggles um Uh, there's definitely some victim playing there's some victimized you know feeling like a victim here I, have, I see that in a couple different places where you feel like you're stuck in a situation and you can't get out of it so that definitely plays into this week where you feel like you're stuck but you're not really stuck I think there's been some kind of dishonesty somewhere and I'm not sure where that is but there's some been some dishonesty and I think the truth is probably going to come out about that <coughs> And it is going to, you know, the truth is there's going to be some communication that brings some something to light that is very, um, it could be hurtful, all right? It could, it could be hurtful. Um, it could affect your security, all right? It could make you feel like a victim, all right? Um, I see that you've been working on yourself. You have. You've been working on yourself quite a bit at the beginning of the week. And perhaps you've been communicating more. Perhaps you are uh, working on starting a new foundation um, that includes stability and security. And um, I think that you're ready to start a new phase of your life, okay? And I think that's what your focus is on at the beginning of the week. I think that you have a lot of courage, you have a lot of confidence in yourself, and you're and you're ready for some excitement. Okay, I see that you you have so, you have the desire for some excitement, but on the other hand, you know it feels like you feel like you're trapped somewhere, and you there's no place to go. Like maybe you're comfortably trapped. All right, um, there's a lot of stuff going on upstairs. All right, so I think it's regarding your love. Perhaps you're unsure of some love, okay? Because in this, in the other deck, the Rider Waite, this is the guy who's not accepting love or not seeing love or not wanting love, okay? So there's something going on upstairs that's affecting your um, love life, okay? It's something going on in your thoughts, okay? And I'm not sure what it is, but it has something to do with um, dishonesty, lies, or um, cheating. There's something that's really um, weighing you down. Um, it's causing tension. It's causing you inner tension, okay? And it's hard to 
um, balance your life out with all this tension. This is about the need to balance. you got tension, tension, tension. There's a lot of tension this week going on in your head, and I don't know why, but there is. I mean, there's tension here as well. Even here are the swords. They're all thoughts, okay? So you're, you're just... Your your thought process is more like worry. You're worried that you can't do something. Um, and I think that you're feeling like a victim, whereas you're not. You're not a victim. And, 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 and I'm sorry to tell you that. Um, I don't want to say anything negative about people, but that's what I see. Um, so here, you know... It's weird because here you, you, you have the ability to make a major change in your life. And you have been working on this major change. You have. But your obstacle right now in this major life change of yours is your thoughts. That's your obstacle. Okay? Um, you have the ability to have a nice comfortable home. Okay, but you have to be honest. You have to be truthful in every single thing. Okay, I'm not saying that you're not honest, but this guy, and this is what this card represents. It's honesty without tact. It's complete brutal honesty. Okay, so this is, this is advice for you. Brutal honesty will bring you a very happy, comfortable home. It will free you, too. It will free you so that you're not stuck. We're going to get some of my after tarot. These are afterthoughts. I didn't read the book. It's like a lot like the Rider Waite. It's just a, you know, the afterthoughts of the Rider Waite. So anyhow... <clears throat> We're going to keep going. <laughs> you might be leaving somebody behind, okay? You may be leaving somebody behind. Perhaps, that you're, perhaps there's a third-party situation and you have to make a choice between two people, okay? I see that there is a choice. I see a two here, and I also see this is, the, this is a third-party situation. So, you know, and there's two people here. Perhaps you've been presented with this unexpected choice in love. And the pull is so strong that you you go with it, okay? And it's not what you expected. It's not because it's meant to be unexpected. This is a major life experience that is connected to your world, your life change. This life experience that's coming in, this is karma, okay? Something is about to happen that might cause a breakup. All right, it might cause a breakup, um, but it might uh, uh, it might also um, connect you with somebody else at the same time. Okay, because it could be a third party situation. It, so I'm just saying um, here it's about um, no longer in denial. Okay, no longer in denial, no longer pretending that there isn't a problem. You realize there is, and now you're ready to just. Fight it out. Let's let's do it. Okay? So it's about making a decision. And it's a decision to celebrate because this person up here that comes in, this is an unexpected choice in love. This, unex this person, it makes you feel at ease. It's somebody who you are very, very comfortable with. They could be your soulmate. All right? Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Gemini, we have Gemini twice, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, did I just say that? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, that's who we have, and we have Sagittarius a couple times, we have Gemini a couple times, um,
really could be any sign because we all have different aspects in our charts. Either way, this life experience could cause a breakup. This Whatever this comes in, but let me tell you, it's a blessing in disguise. It is a blessing because the, your new life is right here. Your new phase is right here. And there's excitement in that new phase. All right? I see that you have all the resources that you need to heal, okay, to heal these thoughts because over right here we have this magician who has the resources, uses their resources to regain back control in their li in his life, her, his or her life. You know, they use their inner power to succeed. They are complete. They are one mind, body, and spirit. So they use their inner power. You know, their inner soul to succeed. And, I th and you have that ability to do that. Okay, so whatever thoughts these are that are going on up there, you have the ability to um, heal from them. Okay, you do. I think you have a choice between two people. I do. I think you have a choice between two people and that one of them is going to, the universe is going to make you, or the, the universe is helping you to make a decision. You have to choose one or the other. You could physically be moving. All right? You could be moving. Um, and it's a blessing in disguise. All right? So I see, see that this week is about making a choice between two people. That's what I see. Um, that's what I think it is. So, you know, if this resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This isn't meant to resonate with everybody. This doesn't have to do be two sexual partners. It could be a, a husband and um, a child, you know, that are arguing. And, you know, what, who do you choose, you know, whatever it is. I mean, it doesn't have to be two partners. It could be, you know, choosing whose side, you know, who are you going to honor? Say if there's bickerments in the family, it could be between two lovers. It could be. I mean, either way, there's some choice that needs to be made. And you're going to go in the direction that you did not expect to go. Okay? So that's what I see. That's what I have. Um, thank you for watching.